Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to do number 25 on the CBEST Elementary Math Practice Test. I want you to use this problem as a way to review some core math concepts and some math strategies for solving these elementary math teacher certification math problems. All right, so let's look at number 25. I'll start by reading it over and we'll just jump into the math. Number 25. Arturo is driving at a speed of 50 miles per hour. At 2, he sees the following sign. And then we have some options here. Appleby, 11 miles away. Um, I'm not so sure this is Canaan or Cannon. Let's say Canaan. Uh, Canaan is 62 miles away and a whole bunch of other towns here. Then it says Arturo continues at the same speed. So he's driving that 50 miles per hour. At 2.30, how far from uh, Canaan will he be? And then we have some options. Well, you know, the pronunciation of this word is driving me crazy, but I'm gone with Canaan. Could have been Canaan. Who knows? Could have been something else. But let's just keep with it. This town here, we're trying to find out how far away Arturo is at this moment. So I'm just going to write down this information. At 2, let's say 2 p.m., Arturo's here. He's 62 miles away from this town. Now, he drives, he doesn't drive a full hour. A full hour would have meant that he's gone 50 miles. He drives a half an hour. And so that's important. We want to think of a half an hour, 30 minutes. It's, it's half, wouldn't it be half of 50? So half of 50 is, instead of, if it was a full hour, it would be 50 minutes. But if it's a half an hour, it's going to be half of 50, or it's going to be 25 miles. So he's actually gone in this distance 25 miles. So we can think of it as he's 25 miles closer to this town. And when we do our subtraction out here, we'll actually find out 12 minus the 5 is 7. This becomes a 5. 5 minus 2 is a 3. We find out that he is 37 miles away. So what I did right now, I didn't really do a, a, a huge model drawing, but I did a quick sketch that helped organize the information. I thought about time on one side and distance on the other. I did a, a quick sketch over here on how to find out half of 50. And what this is allowing me to do as I practice these quick sketches and these quick calculations is allowing me to get to the answer faster and in an organized fashion. That way I don't make any careless mistakes. Okay team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. The answer is E. I hope you have a great day. Take care.